Yo, electricity frenzy fam. Today, we're cracking open the electrical toolbox to tackle a sizzling question. Can you plug a 220 volt water heater, a fire breathing beast, into a dainty 110 volt outlet? Buckle up, because this is going to be a shockingly honest journey. The short answer, with some zest. All right, here's the deal. Technically, plugging a 220 volt heater into a 110 volt outlet won't instantly explode like a rogue firework. But that doesn't mean it's a tango under fairy lights for your electrical panel. Let's tap into the voltage dance floor and see why. Voltage, the big kahuna of power. Think of voltage like the volume knob on your electrical amplifier. A 220 volt heater needs double the dial spin, voltage, compared to its 110 volt cousin to get those heating elements roaring and your shower steamy. So, what happens when you crank down the voltage on a 220 volt heater? Two scenarios and none involve fluffy towels. The fizzle, a lukewarm tango. Imagine trying to fill a pool with a garden hose. The heater won't get enough juice to reach its full temperature, leaving you with showers that wouldn't melt a popsicle. The slow burn, efficiency meltdown. Like trying to power a rocket with a lawnmower engine, the heater will have to work twice as hard to do half the job. This can overheat the wires, shortening their lifespan. Beyond the basic, the nitty-gritty nuggets. But electricity frenzy loves a deep dive, so let's zoom in like a microscope. Power play, the what's up? Remember, wattage, power, equals voltage times amperage. So, with half the voltage, the heater's power, wattage, also gets halved, not doubled. Think of it as turning down the amplifier from 10 to 5. The current, amperage, also decreases proportionally, like turning down the speaker volume. No doubling act here. Efficiency matters, even with its half power mode, the heater becomes a sluggish sloth compared to its 220 volt brother. You'll use energy at the same rate as before in double the time to get the heat, making your wallet cry faster than a sad onion. Warranty woes, mess with the voltage, and you void the warranty faster than a magician pulls a rabbit out of a hat. That fancy heater? Poof, it's now a glorified paperweight. The hot, but safe, alternatives. Don't worry, hot water warriors. There are ways to get your fix even with 110 volts. Smaller, 110 volt tank heaters, they may take longer to heat up, but they'll play nice with your electrical system. Point of use heaters, these instant on-demand heroes provide hot water at specific taps, saving energy and money. Heat pump water heaters, these super-efficient eco-friendly options use refrigerant magic to draw heat from the air, even in colder climates. The takeaway. Listen up, electrical in training, playing voltage roulette with your water heater is a gamble you shouldn't take. Stick to the right voltage, explore alternative options, and your showers will stay steamy and safe. Remember, electricity frenzy is all about understanding the spark, not becoming the smoke. Remember, playing voltage roulette ain't worth the smoke but you can still get your hot water fix safely and efficiently. Scroll down to the video description and check out the high-rated water heater solutions we've handpicked for you. So, there you have it, crew. Stay tuned for more electrifying adventures, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for your daily dose of electrical knowledge. And leave a comment below, what other electrical mysteries do you want us to tackle? Until next time, stay safe and keep the current flowing.